The question number 16 says that a particle travel one third of the total distance of the journey with the speed of 10 meter per second, next one third of the total distance with the speed of 20 meter per second and the remaining distance with the speed of 40 meter per second. The average speed of the particle for the journey. These are four options. Now in this case, it's given that let's suppose the total distance is, this is the total distance and the first one third is covered with the speed v1, next one third is covered with the speed of v2, and last one third is covered with the speed of v3. Then what is the average speed? The total distance d by 3, d by 3, d by 3 total is this, and the time. And only time for this one, the time will be equal to distance divided by the speed. And for this interval, this would be d by 3, this speed is v2. And for the last d by 3, this is d by 3 divided by v3. So if I write average speed as equal to v average, the v average is this. Now, eliminate t in numerator and denominator, then 1 by v average will come equal to 1 by 3, 1 by v1 plus 1 by v2 plus 1 by v3. Now, 1 by 3 v1 the first part velocity is given equal to 10 the second part velocity is given equal to 20 and last part velocity is given 40 you can remember this formula directly wherever equal distance are given so 1 by v average is equal to 1 by 3 so if i take the lcm the lcm is 40 so this is 4 plus 2 plus 1 so therefore, V average comes to equal to V40 into 3 is 120 divided by 7. And if you solve, this is 17.14 meter per second. And look at the options. The third option is 17.14 meter per second. So answer to this question is option number 3. The question number 17 is that a particle experience an acceleration A equal to 4 e raise power minus 3t meter per second square along positive x axis where t is in second where t is the time in second if the initial velocity of the particle is 2 meter per second along positive x axis the velocity particle when its acceleration becomes zero is these are the four options and now dear student what do you find that acceleration a is equal to 4 e raise power minus 3t this is exponential and this is logically written as this one. Now, A will become 0 when this becomes infinity. And this infinity, E has the value 2.718 and this should be infinity only then this become infinity and A will become 0. So, at T infinity, the acceleration will be 0. Now, the acceleration A is equal to the velocity change rate with respect to time for the change in velocity dv is equal to a into dt to find the, the velocity when acceleration is zero so we integrate dv is equal to a into dt and velocity limits the initial velocity was 2 and let's say final is v the initial time was t and final time is infinity because at infinity a will become zero fill up value a is given equal to 4 e raised power minus 3t into dt, right? And this 4 is outside and integration is e power minus 3 and along with the derivative of this is minus 3 and from 0 to infinity. So, this is equal to 4 by 3 with minus sign and e raised power minus infinity because t is infinity field minus e power 0 e power 0 is 1 so this is minus 4 by 3 and e power minus infinity 1 upon this this is 0 minus 1 so this is equal to 4 by 3 and look at left hand side integration of dv is v and the limit are from 2 to v so put the upper limit and the lower and what do you get right here that v minus 2 is equal to 4 by 3 so, V will be equal to 2 plus 4 by 3. So, we take the LCM the 3 and 6 plus 4. So, this become 10 by 3 meter per second. And the option correct is option number 4. Because 
fourth option is this one. So answer to this question is option number 4, 10 by 3 meter per second. Let's go to the question number 18. The question says that a particle is projected upwards with the speed of 2 meter per second at time t is equal to 0. The time at which the speed of the particle is half of the initial speed is, these are four options. See, the particle is projected vertically upwards, it's from here. And the particle has initial speed of 2 meter per second. And I take the gravity, acceleration due to gravity g as 10 meter per second square downward. Generally, we take so. Now, he says that the time at which the speed of the particle is half the initial speed. Then, I want the final, final speed to be 1 meter per second, half of this one. But remember, this can happen when the particle is going up and when the particle is returning back because its velocity becomes zero and then it return back to the same spot with the same speed. So in the upward journey and the downward journey, the speed could be one meter per second. That means the velocity of the particle can be plus minus one meter per second. Now taking upward direction as positive, formula V is equal to U plus AT and U is equal to how much two? and acceleration is minus 10 and the time t and what the velocity value is plus minus 1. So, 2 minus 10 t. So, you have the two options. The first time this 1 is equal to 2 minus 10 t and take on left hand side then your t become equal to 0.1 second and in the second option minus 1 is equal to 2 minus 10 t. So, 10 t on the left hand side, you get the another time t is equal to 0.3 second. So, therefore, you have the two option. At 0.1 second, the speed is 1 meter per second, half of the initial and 0.3 second, again, the speed is same. So, your option 1.1 second is true. Like option second, 0.3 second is true. 0.2 second is not answered. So, correct option is answer number 4 because both 1 and 2 are the true options, right? Let's move to the next problem. The question number 19 says that a particle has a rectangular motion and the figure gives its displacement as a function of time. Which of the following statements are true with respect to the motion? And we look at the graph between S versus time, displacement versus time, the graph, curved graph. First option, in motion from O to A, in motion from point O to A, the velocity is positive and acceleration is negative. And second option between A and B, the velocity and acceleration are positive. Between B and C, velocity is negative and acceleration is negative. And between D and E, the velocity is negative and acceleration is positive. Now, dear student, whenever you have a given the graph between S and T, let's say graph like this one, and how you find the velocity? The velocity was calculated from the slope, right? And if it is continuously changing, then you find as you move from this time to this time, the slope is reducing. So from one point to two point, as you move from this time to this, the slope is reducing. That means the particle velocity is decreasing. So at point two, the particle has less velocity than this, but at both the point, the slopes are positive. So both the velocities are positive. So as move from time t1 to time t2, you find that velocities are positive, but the velocity is reducing. It means the acceleration is in the opposite direction. Now, the first option says that between O and A, velocity is positive. That's true. And acceleration negative. So, the first option is the correct option. Otherwise, let's go to the second from A to B. From A to B, what do you find? The velocity is negative because the slope is negative. So, this is velocity is positive. Wrong. And third, from B to C, velocity is negative. From B to C, no doubt velocity is negative because slope is negative. But as you go downward, the slope is reducing. So acceleration is positive, but here given negative, so wrong. I write that directly the answer to this question is option number one. Let's move to the next problem. Question number 20 says, a student performs an experiment and takes 50 observation. The systematic error in the calculation is found to be small e. If the student now takes 100 observation, the systematic error would be the first option is e, second is e by 2, third option is e by 4 and last option is 2e. And if you look 
again at the statement systematic error in the calculation systematic error does not depend upon the number of observation therefore whether you increase the observation or decrease the observation systematic error will remain unchanged hence so answer to this question is first option that i write answer is 1 let's move to the next problem 